Hi everybody, Hawk here. The biggest mixer in early versions of Reason was the 14 x 2 mixer. It was really small. It wasn't nearly powerful enough for serious mixing. Today, Reason features a powerful main mixer section that emulates the classic SSL 9000K analog console. Plus, with rack extensions and VST plugins, you literally have an endless supply of plugin effects for processing. In other words, you've got plenty of mixing power to produce professional sounding mixes right in Reason. In this video, I'll go over all the steps necessary for completing a mix and look at the functions on the main mixer that you'll use at each step of the way. Let's do this. Familiarize yourself with a mix. Set the basic fader levels. Solo channels to hear individual tracks. At this point, I usually decide if I need to submix anything, such as the drums. It's easy to submix channels using the Create New Bus Path. I'll label this bus Drums and then assign all the drums to this same bus. Then, I'll have control over my entire drums submix from a single fader. Next, decide what will be the loudest element in your mix and set it to minus eight dB on the master fader meter. In this case, since it's an EDM song, it's going to be the kick drum. I'll be mixing all of my other levels around this. Next, I'm going to get busy doing some basic EQ, cutting out frequencies that are clashing and panning elements to balance tones in the stereo field. Let's use a high pass filter to cut out some of these really low bass frequencies that might get in the way of the kick drum. I'll solo the kick drum and the bass line together to make sure that my EQ curve is working. The main mixer has a lot of sections, and this can look totally overwhelming. Fortunately, there's a handy feature that lets you see just the mixer section that you want to work in. Okay, let's do some EQ. We don't need all of these low frequencies in the lead vocals. So I'll just cut those out using the high pass filter. And I'll add a little top end above 5 kHz. As you can see, there's great sounding parametric EQ right on the main mixer. Or I can add an insert rack extension EQ, or a VST plugin EQ, for even more flexibility and control.
Let's try out a Waves Q10 parametric EQ plugin. There it is. Now, I'll attack the dynamics with compression to even out the levels of the tracks in my mix. There's great sounding compression right on the main mixer. Or, again, I can add an insert compressor, either a rack extension or a VST plugin, for even more options. This time, I'll use the tried and true M Class compressor that comes stock with Reason. While I'm making my EQ and compression settings, I'm constantly going back and forth between soloing individual channels and listening to all the tracks in the mix as a whole. It's important to fine tune the individual tracks, but you can't lose sight either of how the tracks sound altogether in the mix. Next, it's time to add reverb and delay effect sends to create some front to back depth in my mix. I can use the default send effects in Reason, which sound great, or I can set up a VST plugin for my reverb and delay send effects. Let's add a Waves Renaissance Reverb plugin to Ascend in the main mixer. I'll drag in this VST plugin just below the master section. We're looking at the back of the rack right now, so you can see how the connections are made automatically for you. Pretty cool. Use Tab to flip the rack back over. Open up the reverb and load up a preset. Find the send on the main mixer and turn it up. Then, I determine if any of my instruments require additional insert effects, such as some extra distortion or lo-fi dirt on a sound. Again, I have a wide choice of effect devices, including the stock effects, rack extension devices, or any VST plugins that I have installed. That's the snare drum run through some tape saturation. Or, instead of a straight insert, I might decide to add some parallel effect processing. The Create Parallel Channel function is a fantastic feature and really lets you get creative mixing together effect channels. I'll use the Edit Inserts button on the main mixer to locate the insert point in the rack. Then, drag in the Waves Mondo Mod plugin and load up a preset. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Then I'll be able to blend the dry channel with the parallel effect channel to taste. Sweet dreams. I'll blend the dry Sweet and wet dreams. channels together 
and then listen to the effect in the mix. There you go. Finally, when everything is sitting just right and I've got a good sounding static mix, then it's time to add some automation. For example, to even out the vocal phrases, or lower a sound here or there, or automate some panning. Every control on the main mixer can be automated. Just right click on the control and select Edit Automation to create a lane in the sequencer where you can automate the parameter. Let's make this bigger so we can see the automation clip being written. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. And there it is. You can double click on the automation clip to edit the automation breakpoints. You can then copy the automation clip to other song sections. Next, I'll right click on this pan button and select Edit Automation to create an automation lane where I can automate the track's panning. And this time, instead of writing the automation in real time, I'll draw in the automation with the pencil tool. Great, let's see this automation in action. Okay, so after a lot of work with levels, EQ, compression, inserts, sends, and automation, here's the final unmastered mix. Everything is sounding clear, and we are totally ready to take this to mastering. Having begun by setting your loudest signal to minus 8 dB on the master fader, and after adding all of the tracks into your mix, you should now be sitting right around minus 3 dB on the meter, give or take a dB. This guarantees that you're not clipping or unintentionally distorting your main mix output, and that your mix is now at the perfect level for mastering. Moving on. 
So you see, there's plenty of power and reasons main mixture to accommodate each step of the mixing process. Nothing has been shortchanged. You've got plenty of effect options, including your VST plugins, and most importantly, the main mixer sounds awesome. So that's it. There are no excuses for not having the tools to produce a fantastic sounding mix directly in reason. It's time to get mixing.